Hi grade one, welcome to your last week with me before I let you go and practice and start recording. So last week we did line one and line two. Can we quickly just try and play it together just so we have it and so we're warmed up and we're ready for line three and line four. So let's go for it. Remember, I'm going to count one, two, three, da. We start to play on that fourth beat. Let's go together. One, two, three. Practice that and it's this is easy peasy. Alright, so let's go to line number three. Now, one thing you'll see here, this little apostrophe, in English we call it an apostrophe, but in music, this thing is called a breath mark. So that means whenever you've played a note for really long, this is your chance to take a breath. But don't take a <gasps> huge breath because that'll give you too much air and will make your next note squeaky. So always just take enough air, so then stop playing, okay? So this is a breath mark, even over here, breath mark, and that's your chance to breathe. All right, so let's start by clapping and saying the rhythm of line number three, and then we'll go to line number four. So this is a dotted minim, so that's three beats, so ta, a, a, and the rest is quarter notes. So what is that? Ta, 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 ta. Super easy. Let's try and put it together. Three, go. Ta, a, a. Ta, 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 ta. By yourself, go. If you notice, the rhythm in this third line is exactly the same as the rhythm here, but the notes are different. All right, let's try going for line number four. Let's clap out the rhythm. This is also really easy, because all we have is a quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Oh, look, another quarter note, a quarter note, and finally a... Dotted minim, which is ta a a. So let's try and say that. Three, go. Ta, 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 a a. Do you think you can do it by yourself? Because I think you can. Let's go for it. One, two, by yourself. Let's try and say the rhythm for line three and line four together. One, two, three, go. Ta, a, uh, a, uh, breathe. Ta, 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 breathe. Ta, 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 a, a. All right? So notice how it's bringing those breathes in. Because that's your chance. Because sometimes you're going to run out of so you want to take that quick breath. All right? So now let's try and play the notes. So over here we have a G, because I mean, sorry, not a G, we have an A, then we have a G. So A for three beats, G for one beat. Let's try and play that together. Hold your A's, let's go. Three, go. One more time, let's go. Super easy. Let's go to this next bar over here. What do we have? Oh, look at that, two notes on the same line. So that means G, this is every good boy. So we're playing a B note over here. So two Bs, and in this second space, we always say that's a A. So two Bs, two As, really easy. Let's try that. Three, go. One more time, let's go. Let's try to put the whole of line three together. Don't forget that to breathe after that one. One, two, three, go. Try it by yourself. Three, go. One more time. Are you ready to go to the last line? Let's try it out. So over here we have once again two B's because it's right in the middle line. And so B, B, then we have that second line which is always a G. And then the space, the second space is always a A. So B, B, G, A. Let's try play that on our recorder. Three, go. 
One more time. Let's go. All right, cool. That's that bar. Let's go to the next bar. So over here, we just have B, A, B, A. The exact same, just it's alternating. It's going between B to an A to a B to an A. Okay? So let's try that. B, A, B, A. Three, go. Three, go. Let's try put this bar over here and that second bar in line four. Three, go. By yourself, let's go. All right, and this last note over here, super easy, a G, but play for three beats. So if you notice, this last bar and that first bar add up to four. So, but that doesn't, that's not too important right now. So let's just play this G for three beats. Three, go. Go. One last time. So let's try to put the whole of line four together. Three, go. So if you need to practice line four, just take some time and practice it. But now let's try and put line three and line four together before we put the whole piece together. Let's try it. One, two, three, line three. Do you think you can try it by yourself? I think you can. Let's try it. One, two, three, by yourself. Awesome. So now that we've done line three and line four, let's try and put it all together. So I'm going to try and play it with you for the first time, and then the second time you're going to play it by yourself, okay? So let's go for it. Remember, we're starting after three. So, one, two, three. Try it by yourself. Take it nice and slow and remember after three. One, two, three. You need to take a deep breath after that one. So if you need to practice it, which you will need to practice it, take your time and just keep going through it. Remember, practice makes perfect. You can get this absolutely perfect before the end of today, as long as you practice. And this is what I want you to play for your final assessment. You're going to have your parents record you, and you're going to submit it on Teams. So the entire lines of pickup, just up until the end, okay? Up until there. And that's it. So practice hard and I'm looking forward to seeing you play it absolutely well and I'll be so happy and so pleased to see that you've understood your rhythm and understood your notes and most importantly, you have taken your time to practice and to play it really well. If you do this, then me and Mrs. Vanessa will be super happy and we'll be super excited to take you through music in a grade two. So practice hard and we will see you soon. Bye grade one.